Hello, everyone, and welcome into some Marquette predictions as we're going to be previewing the Marquette Golden Eagles taking on the Xavier Musketeers in another Big East battle. I'm Jack Phillips alongside John Leuzzi. John, thanks for joining me today. Jack, it's a pleasure to be here. Now, thinking back to last Saturday, Marquette went into Newark, New Jersey to take on the Seton Hall Pirates. They obviously lost that game, but you were there, John. Take me through the atmosphere and what were your overall takeaways from that yeah, game? Yeah, first half was really strong for the Golden Eagles on the offensive side, and then the not so much on the defense, and Marcus Howard had 18 18- first half points they were able to get the offense going and then once at the one minute left in that first half Miles Powell and the Seton Hall offense just took over and they run for the entire second half see the Golden Eagles defense just not able to stop the Pirates on the offensive side and a big part part number in the statue was the Pirates had 25 points off their bench and that was really why the Golden Eagles were not able to get back into the swing of things a little bit in the second half. And it really was a big East shootout looking back at that game because obviously Miles Powell had a great game, but even looking at Marcus Howard from Marquette, he really carried that team in that game, and I know we've said that throughout the entire season thus far, but it wasn't a terrible game for Marquette in general, at least when you look at someone like Marcus Howard on the team, but overall, again, they couldn't get it done. They fall to 1-3. and three. Now looking ahead to tonight against Xavier, Xavier comes in as a 1-3 and three Big East team as well. What are your predictions for this game, John, and who's going to be your key impact player? Well, I think my big key impact player is Jamal Kane. He's going to have to come off the bench and do something strong for the Golden Eagles. The Golden Eagles only had seven points off the bench against Seton Hall on Saturday, and we're not really sure with Greg Elley. He's battling an ankle injury, so he's been the big part for the Golden Eagles off the bench this season, not so much in Seton Hall because he was out that game. So somebody is going to have to step up off the bench when Howard's not on the court to get all the baskets. Well, regardless, John, thanks for joining us here on this little preview. Again, don't forget to follow at Zoe underscore Comerford on Twitter for her live updates. You can also follow us at tw- or at MUR Sports on Twitter. And since classes are back, that means John Leuzzi and Matt Yazel will be on the call. Our radio broadcast is back. You can listen to our broadcast by going to marketwire.org slash MUR. Again, that's marketwire.org slash MUR for plenty of Big East basketball action. Again, John Leuzzi joined by me, Jack Phillips. We'll have takeaways after the game between Marquette and Xavier.